Hey, welcome to the new lick of the week, and this is Behind the Music Empress Part 2. And uh, last week we talked a little bit about the main melody, and um, we talked about inspiration behind the song. I don't know, it looks like I'm wearing the same fucking thing as the last week. Basically, I am. This is like my pajamas, uh, my skull. My skull, the pants, and a, you know, typical black shirt. I have ones that look the same, so it basically looks like I'm wearing the same thing all the time. But you know what? You don't have to think about what you're wearing each day. Just wear the same thing, but different thing. But you know, different things. Black. Everything's black. You know what I mean? Einstein wore the same thing all the time. Do you know that? Just had the same outfit in the closet. You opened up, it was the same thing. You don't have to think about it. Uh, on to a different topic, but um, this week we're gonna little we're gonna talk about not as much playing, but we're gonna talk about equipment. What equipment was used uh, for Empress? So that's why I have this song, this guitar out, and that's why this guitar is here. This is an Ibanez RG Prestige, um, and this was the the guitar that I used on the recording, and it is a basswood body. It is a a curly maple top and I am using DiMarzio pickups of course DiMarzio are the best I've been using them since I am an ankle biter what that means is when I was that small that I could bite someone's ankle so crawling on the floor that's how long I've been using them um, and I'm using it a Steve special in the bridge and I like and I put it in reverse so it warms up the tone a little bit and then the neck I'm using a DiMarzio Aaron Norton and in this song, in particular, in the beginning, the tone that you're hearing is actually the two inner coils. Now, I have a three-position toggle switch on here, and in the middle toggle, you're using the two inner coils. Uh, so a lot of people wonder about the tone on this record, uh, on this actual song. So that's what I'm using. And it's actually a little string skipping riff. I'm, I'm uh, I'm starting on the D, and then I'm going to the A, B flat, C, G. So I'm skipping the third string. A lot of people, you know, uh, when when you're playing songs and you're trying to figure out other people's tunes, it's very important find out where they're actually playing them. That's why, you know, when you're dealing with transcriptions, it's very important to deal with transcriptions that come from the, the actual guitar player because there's a difference. And this is something that you, you guys should think about. Is that when I'm writing melodies, I always fool around on the neck on where I'm playing, where I'm playing it. It's going to sound different. If I would have done it over there, it doesn't sound the same. So I would say once you come up with a melody and you come up with an idea, this is going on a, on a tangent, but try and find it, try and fool around on different places on the neck where you want to do it. But um, back to the equipment, which is what this is about. Um, I also used a uh, Boss NS2. No, Bo yeah, Boss NS2 noise reduction of course but I use the Boss SD1 um, overdrive pedal modded by Keeley when I still have it it's a great pedal it's actually a Japan uh, NS2 uh, a Japan SD1 modded by Keeley um, which I, to me makes a difference and uh, I'm using a Morley Bear, a Bear Horsey 1 which is the wild that you hear on Empress and I'm also using uh, George L. Cables. You know, a lot of people talk about tone. To me, uh, tone is what's coming from your hands, what's coming from your guitar, what's coming from your pickups, what's coming from your pedals, what's coming from your amp and in your cables, and it's all mixed together. Uh, but the, the uh, amp I'm using on this one is an MK50, Quanford MK50 uh, with an MK50 bottom. Uh, a 412 bottom which has vintage 30s in it uh, and it also comes down to the mics you know the mics I'm using are a fucking phone but we're gonna keep going 
mics I'm using are a uh, um, the SM57s and I'm using an SM51. Uh, someone fucking get the phone. Um, so I'm using an SM51 uh, and an SM57. A lot of people talk about they have expensive mics. So oh, I have a ten thousand dollar mic. They could suck my fucking cock. Mics don't mean anything. Expensive mics. Hundred dollar, hundred fifty dollar SM57 is all you need to get a guitar sound. Listen to Jimi Hendrix. Listen to Van Halen. Right? Everyone fucking loves their tone. That's all they're using. So don't believe the bullshit about expensive mics. People that like to talk about expensive equipment like to hear themselves talk. <laughs> um, so that's a lesson for you. Fuck the mics. Fuck the people that talk about the expensive mics. They could shove the mic up their ass. Or they could shove it up my ass. Um, and also, uh, what else about this tune? Uh, the mic pre that was being used on this is an Avalon. Uh, mic pre's and it's going into HD Pro Tools. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about that kind of stuff. The tone on this song is great. I actually prefer Neves or Vintex to this date, uh, which what I Neves I used on my last record, Vintex I'm using now. Um, I like what they do to the guitar sound. Avalons are very crystal clear I think they're better for vocals rather than guitar so that's what uh, it's just a, a take on equipment since we're talking about equipment on this um, lick of the week um, but we're getting up to like seven minutes so uh, that's really one of the that I wanted to talk about on this lick of the week behind the music was the equipment that was used hope you guys dig it and we'll see you next week take care <laughs>